Hi, this is Jonathan. Welcome to your channel. Uh, it's been a hectic week for me. Um, had a concert to do. I uh, was music directing it. And uh, we had rehearsals on Thursday, our sound check on Friday, Saturday was a show to a sold out crowd in uh, Singapore Indoor Stadium in Singapore. And um, yeah. So the band came uh, from some from Beijing, some from Taiwan. Uh, these are the same guys that, uh, that I've been playing with for quite some time now. So they stayed an extra day and they left on Monday. So they stay, they had a, they had a day off on Sunday. And I was bringing some of them to a to a shopping center where uh, there are a whole lot of guitar shops. And I saw this white guitar this beauty in the shop and I couldn't stop thinking about it and that was on Sunday so it's Monday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday I think and, and that guitar has been on my mind so anyway today I went up there and uh, I bought it so this is the our friend of Japan um, 50 style Stratocaster
Guitar came in with various documents, you know, and um, QC checks and everything, like any Fender guitar. This one comes in in Japanese. It's all in Japanese. Pretty cool. Don't know a single word, but pretty cool, you know. And it comes in with a, 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 a Allen key, a small Allen key for the bridge saddle adjustment. That's about it. So this guitar is made in Japan. Um, I love this guitar, you know, I just love looking at it. A couple of videos back, you know, I was reviewing a main Japan Telecaster that my friend Jeffrey has. And I was telling you guys about the level of workmanship that is involved. And the same goes for this guitar, you know, every every corner, every nook, you know, the fretwork, the nutwork, um, it just spells quality, you know, it just spells uh, intricate care. In, 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 in manufacturing this guitar. You know, I, I just can't help but just Google it, you know, at, at how the workmanship is, you know, after you took off all the plastic coverings and everything from the pickup and the pickguard, you know, you can actually see the quality of workmanship in, in these guitars. So, um, very briefly, it has a one-piece maple neck, a bone nut, all right, and a black dot, you know, and 21 frets. Uh, these are nickel nickel frets so you know it's the normal ones um these are the Klusen, old Klusen styles headstock um it says here this is uh with the original contour body so all these contours are set to the original standard of the 50 strat of a 50 strat yeah single 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 tread, uh, vintage style pickups uh, i guess these are the uh, pickups that are modeled after the 50s uh casters these are the six screw uh, synchronized tremolo uh, bridge with the bar, screw in bar. Uh, one volume, two, no, uh, two tone, five way switch. Um, that's a button. This is this, this, uh, quite a thick block. I don't know what material is it. Uh, I've got to find out what material it is on the, uh, the tremolo block at the back. Um, apart from that, the guitar came in, right, string to a 09 gauge. And I, I'm used to playing 010, so I had to kind of like uh, configure the springs again so that, you know, it works with a 010 gauge. Um, the original string tree uh, was giving me problems, so I had to swap with a roller ones that I had lying around. And it, it, it solved a whole lot of problems, especially for, you know, when, when I'm doing the tremolo on. And uh, yeah, the guitar stays relatively well in tune and very well in tune after the strings are all stretched out and after uh, much playing, you know, the guitar was, the tuning is stable. Now, the thing about this guitar is that it doesn't have a truss rod adjustment. It looks like it has one, but this is a fake. So in order to adjust any truss rod adjustment, you have to loosen these four screws right and then tighten the screws this this is this is a screw here i think it's a phillips screw or yep it's a phillips screw so you can actually tighten it if you find that your 
or your your neck is a bit warp, you know, and loosen it. Likewise, you know, it's the same thing. It's just that the only additional step of taking off the neck, and that is something that I don't fancy doing. But thank God, you know, the the neck is pretty okay. It is a little dip, you know, just a little dip in the center, which is fine with me. So if the neck is giving me some problem or some warping, then I have to take off the neck. <laughs> And adjust accordingly. So I, I guess it's just like a 15 minutes work. You know, it's a tuning that you know there's a hassle. Apart from that, um, the uh, this is a U-shaped neck, and I'm beginning to love U-shaped necks. You know, the the Harley Benton that I bought. You know, the the old stretch style Harley Benton that I bought with the anodized pick guard. Uh, it has a U-shaped neck, and I, I was in I, I was enthralled by it. You know, I was was finding it really comfortable. So this, of course, is really comfortable. This is a U-shaped neck, uh, not too thick, just nice. And um, it's the tone of this guitar that got me. Uh, I, you know, I was so impressed with the tone when I was playing it in the shop through the amp. I'm going, like, wow, that sounds really good. So you know. I I, I'm, I I thought it was an outer body because most of the stretch I own has outer bodies, so I thought this was an outer body. But you know, it was basswood, so I'm kind of surprised that you know the sound that I'm getting is from a basswood body. So tell me what do you think? Anything? Um, is there any difference between the outer and the basswood body as opposed to swamp ash, as opposed to mahogany? You know, I'm no expert you know, in tone wood, so I just hear it and I like it. And I'm digging it. So this guitar comes in at one thousand and eighty-eight dollars. And I'll put down the currencies, the various currency, how much this guitar will cost. Um, at its price, you know, the fact that it's a Fender, original Fender, it's pretty okay. You know, I, I, I've seen many Japan guitars that cost a whole lot more. Of course, there is the uh, hybrid, uh, kind of uh, a hybrid guitar that looks about the same, but with a two-point uh, treble bridge and of course an outer body. That would cost a little bit more, about a couple hundred dollars more. But I was looking for a, a workable guitar that I can, you know, that I can use. So, yeah, and I always wanted, you know, after playing uh, the uh, white strap, <coughs> well, white lookalike strap, I kind of fell in love with the white strap, you know. It reminds me of Richie Blackmore and uh, Jeff Beck. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, feel free to join this uh, channel if you want to and press that bell if you want to be notified of any uh, future videos that comes out. So in the meantime, you guys stay cool and I'll see you again. Ciao.